This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. More about them in just a gif. What's going on everyone? It's me, your Rambly family damily doodler, Alex the Rambler. Today, we're only back on... I press... I press this button. Oh, for God's sake. I did it! Um, people are already chanting, hi Matt, Matt number one. Oh yeah, that's right. Matt's putting all of you Twitch viewers at the start of the videos recently. So if you want to be featured... Oh my gosh, we're making so much more editing for him. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Oh, dearie me. So what we're we doing? We're doing the North America uh, Divided mod. This is set during a time when America... <laughs> It's divided. Let me get the lore up because I, I'm clearly not prepared, am I? At the outbreak of the Great Depression, the history of the US took a turn for the worse. The states grew distrusting of the government and many have decided self-rule is preferable to staying with the US. How will you lead your favourite state, province or territory into this era of uncertainty? So, there's actually a focus tree today for British Columbia, so I think I may actually try them, at least to start off with. What are we going to do? Well, first, what you can do at home is comment, like, and subscribe. Hey! Thank you. Um, <laughs> please, though. Uh, if you if you give a like, let's try and get to 5,000. It's an arbitrary goal, but thank you. Uh, what? Uh, and, and subscribe if you want more. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Here's the, here's the actual law. France extended their occupation of the Ruhr in 1925. Uh, the UK gave permission to Germany to rearm, and then the... S oh! 1931, France and Italy on one side, and the UK and Germany on the other. In North America, the Great Depression combined with the cancellation of the relief fund for veterans as well, and the postponement of the President Herbert Hoover came together to form the conditions for the United States' centuries-long experiment to finally come to an end. Whew. That's right everyone, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. Manscaped is trusted by more than 4 million men worldwide. And women. And, and women worldwide. I've been using this for quite some time and it's, it is very effective. But they also want me to talk to you about the Manscaped Ultra Premium Collection. Wow! Ooh. 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 So this is an all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man and it covers you from head to toe in Manscaped products. So doing their five steps is pretty easy. Hop in the shower and you start with the old two-in-one shampoo along with the old body wash. That's step one and two, just so you know. Step three, spray the hydrating body spray. Oh yeah. Mm. There's also an aluminium-free stick deodorant. Whoa. Smelling good. So that's step four. And then, step five, you apply the lip balm. Mmm. Minty. What do you think, Nigel? Do you like Manscaped products? That's a yes. So if I've convinced you, go to manscaped.com and use the promo code RAMBLER20 for 20% off your order, plus free international shipping. There you go. Cheers, Manscaped. Okay, so what do we have here today? Where's the British Columbian flag? Bam. British Columbia. In the biggest battle royale the world has ever seen, the many new nations of North America are looking to make a name for themselves among the sea of other breakaway countries in the US, Canada and Mexico. The latter barely holding on. So we've got Alaska is rightfully ours. We've got garage workshops and a fight against government corruption. So we'll see what this... I may end up playing another nation. But I just want to see where my home nation, because I live in British Columbia now, a days, is all about. I'm not that optimistic. Oh my giddily. Look at Mexico. Anyway, but, uh, let's, let's, mm, yes, let's begin. I'm in the mod! Oh! Everyone can see that, right? Alex Von Rambler. I'm a media personality. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> I promise you, I had no idea that they put me in as a general. That's <laughs> hilarious. Oh, man. Um, that's brilliant. Why is the eye patch like that? Probably because, oh, they put the eye patch on the wrong way. Oh, my God. That, that was done intentionally. Okay, well, let's get Alex Von Rambler in. So we can either fight against government corruption, because what are we at the moment? We're led by William John Bowser, and we're non-aligned. What does the rest of the world look like? That's interesting. Uh, it doesn't exist. There is no rest of the world. 
it's just the USA. <laughs> so there's a greater BC. We can attack the Yukon. Excuse me? Burnaby death squads? That's a bit extreme for Burnaby. I could do something that I don't usually do and do go communist. We can also subsidize the uh, lumber industry. <gasps> the Okanagan boom. Wow, I'm actually really freaking impressed with this. This is nice. There may be other better nations to play on that have like a better focus tree. So for example, I imagine like the District of Columbia, Herbert Hoover, must have like a... Yeah, there's the real focus tree. Okay, so we start off with 30 manpower and 8 factories. Oh dear. So we have to do industrial effort before anything else. Where is our capital? Where have they stuck up? That's the actual capital, just so you know. It's not Vancouver, eh? Vancouver? I don't think it's ever been the capital. Does Nova Scotia have a focus tree? Let's see. Uh, I think that's just like a generic one. What about New Brunswick? That also looks like a generic one. Ah, uh, I imagine they're probably going to put in... Does Quebec have a focus tree? No. What? Ontario must have. Yeah, Ontario has one. Invasion of the Prairies, excuse me? What the heck? <laughs> Okay, so Ontario just wants to conquer the world. Brilliant. Oh, what about Alberta? Do they have a focus tree? Alberta has a focus tree. Oh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Wow, that's a chonky focus tree for... Sorry, I'm just completely um, enamoured with this. I've never seen such like a... I know I should be looking at the USA. All of you people from the USA out there are like, well, I want to click on my estate, Alex! <laughs> so sure, let's, let's click on California... What if Cali had a focus tree? You don't have to what if anymore. It does. So what's our kind of population at the moment? 400k, 12k, 155k, 80k. The island has like 150k across the whole island. Wow. Oh, Texas is already at war. Should we be surprised? They've, they're invading Louisiana and Oklahoma. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to get some factories, baby. <laughs> so far, it appears that Texas has not moved. Oh, no, they've been forced back. Texas has been forced back by o Oklahoma. What? <laughs> what? And I guess Louisiana's managing to hold them because of the uh, mighty Mississippi. No, that's not the Mississippi. This one is... We have Peter Brown. <laughs> Jim Walker as a hobo advisor. Okay, they actually have historical people in. Oh, wow, William, he's humble, so we get negative consumer goods. That would be nice if we actually had factories. The general will go out of his way to talk to the media and will always try and be in the limelight. Oh, come on. Really? That's the only trait I'm given? <laughs> I do have a two on defense, though, so that is recognized. My extra skill in defense is recognized, so... Got that going for me, which is pretty nice. Oh, we can do United Cascadia. So we need to control Oregon, Ohio, and Washington. Idaho and Oregon. Ah, okay, and then we can make Cascadia. Overall, not a lot's happening at the moment, except Oklahoma's winning the war. Sorry, this is the uh, Texas-Oklahoman war, and Texas is losing. Good job, Texas. Brilliant stuff, mate. Right, yes, we are fighting against government corruption. We will also think about getting... Oh, could you imagine if I started getting the railway guns? <laughs> <gasps> yes. Artillery bicycles again. I think we're going to do it. <laughs> we will conquer Washington with bicycle divisions. <laughs> I've done this before, haven't I? And I had a I had a I had a rollicking good time with it when I did. British Columbia known as the Hyda Confederacy. Ooh. I actually might go and give the Hyder people positions in government. Wait, was the only way you could expand is to leave, let, let, leave corruption run amok and then you can arrest the union? So is that the only way you can actually... Cause I, I don't get any war goals anywhere else, do I? Can I justify? Well, we'll see. And maybe I've done a bit of a mistake with this focus tree. Florida declared war on the Bahamas. <laughs> this is uh, quite amusing. Yeah, okay. Do you reckon they're gonna the USA is gonna invade the Bahamas very well? I don't know. I don't know. Bicycle equipment, here we go. Alex von Rambler must lead the troops to victory. How many divisions does the Republic of Washington have, do we think? Oh wow. Ooh, might have a bit of trouble attacking Washington. My first conquest may very well be Alberta, because I don't know, they feel like I feel like I could just cycle through the mountains and Oh, I know what I need. Mountaineers. 
Mountaineer bicycle divisions, right? Mountain bikers. Yes, we'll set up in Whistler. We'll train in Whistler. <laughs> Alberta will give us... Well, let's take a little look at the resource map. Let's see where are the best. So, ooh, that would be some nice resources. We've got a lot of tungsten and aluminium, which is going to be nice. Washington has a lot of, also a lot of tungsten. Looks like Wyoming's all right for oil. Texas has got, oh, New Mexico is rich in oil too. Look at, look at, oh, yet they couldn't win against Oklahoma. <laughs> Basic engines. <laughs> oh, hold on. Rocket bicycles. Rocket bicycles. This intrigues me. <laughs> it's actually got the rockets on there. Rossi <laughs> rocket bicycles may be dangerous, but they sure are fast. <laughs> oh my days. Okay, well we have to do that, don't we? Sorry, we also saw the District of Columbia go to war, I think. Oh, they're invading Maryland. So they're striking out. Hoover is striking out. Oh, the Bahamas capitulated. Hold on, Florida has expanded oh no <gasps> oh my goodness the district of columbia is fighting back against <gasps> they took out the maryland empire they're the district they're the state of columbia now what a time it is to be alive there we go no no sorry i'm, I'm already researching that one aren't i so we're putting engines <laughs> i'm putting engines on bicycles that's got to be wrong that that description has to be by putting motorized engines onto our bicycles, we can greatly increase their effectiveness. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going for them over tanks, just so you know. Adding rubber... Ru so, excuse me? Adding rubber to the tires, our bicycle infantry is much more effective. I think I may just add tension soon, because the tension doesn't really seem to go up high enough, and this focus tree doesn't really allow us to get any... Uh, bonuses? So I may actually have to use the console because Florida has generated the largest amount of tension and it's only 1.4%. So I bet you as soon as I open that console, though, all of you, they're going to be like, what the f <laughs> An extra side mounted car can go a long way to increasing the stability and effectiveness of our bicycles. You're goddamn right. For the bicycle battalion, do I switch one of these over to raw? Yes. We'll have one rocket bicycle battalion in these. And if I can, field hospitals. <laughs> okay, tension is starting to get a bit higher. Can we change it? I can change it to limited conscription now. Good. Because we don't have a whole lot of population. In British Columbia, in the, yeah, you can see we've got less than a million. Please have babies. How am I meant to fight a war if people won't have babies? Should we go to extent? We're going to extensive, baby. All the manpower. Can I make a sneaky move from the north? You try fighting up in northern British Columbia and northern Alberta at any time of year and you're going to have a bad time. This says it's like forest and that's true. Um, like it's horrible. Oh, we can accept refugees from East Asia and we get an extra 300 uh, weekly manpower and monthly population of 100% for 365 days. I need to Bam. It. The two rivals, BC and Alberta, will be united under the populist government of... Bob. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be led by Bob. What's the infrastructure in the north? Oh, bloody hell. I should invade from the north. I didn't really realise my infrastructure was so good up there. Okay, I'll risk leading four bicycle divisions on the straightest border in the world. This is a big gamble, but if it pays off, can you imagine? Alex the Gambler. Yeah. Got to take a risk, haven't you? So in a few days, we'll be able to prepare for the Civil War. Bam. We need less than 50% stability now. Such a wangle dangle to get all of this sorted out. <laughs> wangle dangle wait where did my decisions go for the civil war oh no is it because i got rid of the i got rid of the democratic dude okay i am gonna have to use the console commands i don't even know if this is the right one this will tell you how often i use that yeah this will tell you how often i i use the actual freaking uh console just pp100 oh that's that's it that's it is it Oh, right, okay. So then I add the Democratic dude back in. So let's get... Let's get Marcus out. We'll get Bob back in. Let's give myself enough PP to... I can open... I can ignite the Civil War now. Do I get a pass for this? Because the focus tree doesn't work. Please, chat. Give me a pass. It's not my fault. <gasps> Washington has capitulated. Oregon is now... In oh, no. Does that mean I'm going to have to face off against the Defense Force? 
The defense up. Ah. We're Bob. I think we're Bob now. All hail, glorious Bob. Oh no. Oh no. Half of my army is uh, spawned in circle, don't they? Why? Uh, just like, you know, when, you know, I just want to have a f ah. easy time. Why does nothing go? Why does nothing ever go right, eh? Whoa! Oh no, this is going to be horrid. They actually have a mountainous division with not enough equipment. So let's see how our rocket bikes do. Are we winning? They have no commander. I'm leading the troops. <laughs> it's like they want to be encircled. It's like they don't even want to fight. I feel kind of bad slaughtering the British Columbians here because they're, they're just misguided. Oh god, I've killed 15,000. Increase taxes, lovely. Then we'll give the Hyder positions in government. Lovely. So now we're gonna we'll, British Columbia will be known as the Hyder Confederacy and we gain core on Juno. Alaska. Oh yes. I'm gonna naval invade Victoria with bikes. <laughs> Finally Oh, this is quite apt for BC because um there are so many bike routes that people off around Vancouver. So now I'm just gonna I'm leading the way of the world with bikes. Oh, we don't even need to. Oh, it's connected. It's connected. We already have the bike route. No, they didn't naval invade. They used the bridge. There's a bridge, apparently. Not quite sure that's accurate, chat, but we're <laughs> you definitely need a ferry to get to the island. Anyway, let's just slaughter them, shall we? Oh, they encircled themselves. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, this wasn't really much of a rebellion, was it? I think taking Victoria. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm coming for you, Alberta. Shall we see what they can uh, do against the might of British Columbia? Bob is angered by Albertan posturing. You don't mess with Bob. We'll get our divisional totem poles, which will give us a division recovery. We can't be led by... Okay. The Hyder Confederacy is led by Bob. <laughs> I don't know many First Nations people called Bob, but hey, I could be wrong. My mountain troops will suffer in the plains of Alberta. But first, we've got to get through the Albertan uh, bit of the Rockies. That's why I built the mountaineers to help me get through. And then, then I have rocket-propelled bikes, mate, to get me through the prairies. <laughs> What's going to happen is that they're going to be impatient. And they're going to try and uh, come at me through the mountains, I'm predicting. Because if we look at their um, divisions, they've got a lot more than I have. I'm thinking... They're not going to be uh, too hot um, after they've cycle charged the mountain tiles for a while. I am a bit nervous that they may push through, but we'll just have to rely on our rocket artillery mountain bikes holding the mountain passes. Okay, we've got a few more days before we go in on Alberta. It's already 1942. And what's the state of the USA? Oh, oh, he's conquered a bit more. Old, uh, oh, it's... <laughs> what? That's sad Hoover and he's got teardrops. Oh my goodness me. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Sad Hoover. Quebec is chonky. Oh, shh. I didn't even see that. Well, they've got what they always dreamed. <laughs> there we go. The Hyder Confederacy. I'm taking back Canada for the First Nations, baby. They immediately attack. Do we have any more planes? Yes, more Cass. More Cass. Get them up. Get them in. Because what's the stats looking like? It's our bicycle divisions are being... Oh my goodness. They have a lot more divisions than I do. But they're struggling. And if I put a mountainous division in there, as slowly as they move... There we go. I'll deploy three more bikes. They are moving through the north. And we'll get George in. Alex will command the main front in the south. But in terms of casualties, the Albertans are taking a lot more. And they're a lot stronger than we are. All right, so I think we're doing a decent job at holding them. Hold on, so let's see. They're out of supply already, so let's see. Can we push them back? Yeah, not even a problemo. Uh, rocket bikes. I'm beating an armoured division. I'm beating the Albertan Armoured Corps with bikes in mountains. Fear me. Uh, they are pushing me a little bit, it does seem. But these mountaineers are holding the line. I need to wait until they keep running out of equipment. Because I don't think that they have any manpower to... They don't have a lot of manpower to replace their losses. Alex, we can level him up. Oh, yeah. Recon bonus while entrenched. He's a mountaineer, too. Alex is a mountaineer. I do like a good hike. We'll just do division attack. All right, let's see. It looks like they're out of a lot of equipment. So why don't we try for a cheeky push with Alex? And even up here, let's try and... Let's try and crumple Alberta. 
We'll switch our air force over to this side so they'll get some bonus with Cass going through the mountains. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Sweeping on into Banff. We've taken Banff for the bicycles. The, bi the bicycle ears. We're through. Oh, yes. Oh, no, I've been wounded. Please, not my other eye. So we must have already taken Calgary, right? Yeah, we've taken Calgary. On to Edmonton soon, I think. How many casualties did that? Oh, I've taken 17,000 casualties now. Okay, take the take the free route. Go around. Go around, bikes. Around. We're going to take Edmonton, and then I think that'll be it. Yeah. Come on. There we go. We have no manpower now, uh, but we have expanded. I was going to try and make Cascadia, but I feel I should try and unite the First Nations of Canada again. Even though they were never, like, a whole people. Um, oh my goodness, Saskatchewan. What have they got? Whoa! Honestly, not sure how I'm going to do this now, because we're... Oh, no, no. We, we do get a bit of manpower, but then they immediately uh, get sapped up into the what we're recruiting, I would presume. Luckily, we can just go, damn, no, we can't. Damn. I can't change anything. Like we're, we're stuck because of the because I'm populist. It doesn't let you change your manpower law anymore. Whatever is in the field is now in the field. Ooh, ain't nobody like supply up here. They have a tank. We have attrition. Fine, you can have those tiles. Never wanted them anyway. Saskatchewan is improving relations with Saskatchewan. They're improving relations with themselves. Classic Saskatchewan. Oh hey, how do we make uh, more alliances, eh? Oh wow, wow, why don't we just uh, have one with ourselves, eh? Oh yeah, perfect idea, eh? So we've taken 1,000 casualties, they've taken 8,000. Yeah, so I have a feeling I may be in perpetual, per 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 perpetual war with Saskatchewan because I can't, I don't have any manpower anymore, so I can't push. Oh, the rocket bikes will have one last chance of uh, glory, I think, once they lose a bit more manpower because quite frankly, that's terrifying. How? Excuse me? Well, that's realistic. <laughs> They can just keep on taking more and more... Ca They've already taken nearly 47,000 casualties. And uh, they still have... I think I definitely am approaching the end of this playthrough now. Because it's just... Um, there's not really a lot we can do. Let's see. Under the grand command of Alex. See how easily we might crumble their divisions. Yeah, I honestly think that we've reached the point with this playthrough now where we just have to kind of call it a day because I can't do anything without manpower and that's going to get absorbed every single time. So the route that I took for this playthrough probably isn't the optimum one, but I do love the fact that I'm a general. <sighs> 22,000 casualties, really? Yeah, our army is just going to go to nothing. Thank God for uh, our Albertan puppet just sacrificing their men. Go on, bikes. Take Saskatoon. Make them regret ever being settled there. So they, <laughs> we've, we've encircled the majority of their army up in the north. Um, which is great. Nice. So over the next few years, our army probably would recover. Oh, I can actually form a faction now. Yay. Who wants to join me once I make a faction? What do you reckon the faction name should be? There we go. I've managed to make Canada, eh? But yeah, I don't really see how I can even attempt to take on this just i just can't get manpower it's the only thing that really sucks here um but yeah let's take a little brief look at the district of uh columbia here we go just want to see what this is all about i just want to see what what you can do as uh well there is the district of columbia literally this is it i'm not in this one so you know it's a zero out of ten from me rebuild congress you've got leave congress <laughs> okay state of the union address Ah, there we go. Because of the horrors of the Great Depression, uh, there's a national... Independence from the Union is illegal, therefore the United States is still whole. This is fun. Okay, so, alright. Well, if we get to 5,000 likes, maybe I'll play as the uh, uh, um, District of Columbia, if you would like that. Of course, if you would, please do. Comment, like, and subscribe. This has been me, Alex the Rambler. Giving this mod a try. I'm pretty proud of what I created in British Columbia, or the Haida Gwaii, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Ta-da! Many thanks to Maximilian Foreman, Chancellor64, Fiona, Higu, Ian, Jack Trochu, Jiggly Crotch, Kim, Eric, Logan Whaley, Onion Duck, Turquoise Zom, Valhalla Halls, Vash, Wyatt Green, and Zachariah Mosby for being ridiculous ramp supporters on Patreon. Oh my gosh. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. Cheers!